When most schools made the transition from Microsoft Office to Google Workspace, one of the most missed features was WordArt. What many people don't know is that Google Workspace has a form of WordArt in Google Slides. It doesn't have all of the different shapes available that you would find in the other program, but it is still a great way for you to have more creative control over your text, how it looks, the sizing, the color, the outline, and more. To use WordArt, click on Insert at the top of the navigation bar and slide down and click on WordArt. A box will open on top of your slide. This is where you enter the text you want. I'm going to put geometry. If you want more than one line of text, it tells you right in the box you're going to use shift and enter at the same time to move the cursor down in the box to add that second line. If you hit enter on its own, then it just puts the word art on your screen and it's ready for you to make additional changes. So one of the things I can do is the way that you resize it is you simply drag the box around from the various handles to change what its shape is but you also can go up here to your fonts and select different fonts to try and you can reshape the box again as you try out these different fonts and see what you like. Um, again, the, I have another video about adding additional fonts to your um, font list if you don't have enough, but typically the thicker um, Darker fonts work really well for word art. And now you can also go in here and you can change the color of the fill. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a green. And you can change the color of the border around your letters. Right, I'm going to go and I'll make those blue. And I can make it a wider border so that we can see it better. And I can stretch this again. I can keep changing it, see what it looks like, how I like it. Um, one of the things I want to make sure you check out when you're using fill are these gradient options as well. They often work very nicely in a word art to just give it even a, another fancier look and feel. Um, so play around with it um, and try out these things. But while you have it selected, if you don't see it on the screen, check under these more dots. You also have format options that you should explore. And it's here in format options, yours might be closed like this, that you can add things like a drop shadow. And if you open this up by clicking the arrow, then you can play around with uh, you know, where it's going to be at. You can play around with how wide it is. Uh, away from the letters. You can uh, see where it's going to blur or not. So you can play around with these different features to add um, drop shadows. You can also change the color of the drop shadow. Well, maybe I want to make it a blue or I can put it back to the gray. I can darken it. Just play around Click on your word to get the options back. There's also this reflection tool that sometimes works well when you turn it on. Again, you can play around with how far away from the word, how big it is, how much shows. And you can also play around with how light or dark it is. I don't like a reflection on my geometry, but we're going to stop there for geometry. And let's try another word. Again, I go up to insert, select word art, type in my text. This time I'm going to do water cycle. And I can drag it down. I can change uh, all of those same things. I can pick a font. I can choose my colors. As long as the word art is selected, I'll be able to make these choices. Again, I can pick my line. And I can um, come in here and get my format options again. 
and maybe I want to add a drop shadow. But I think that something like the sun, because I think I have uh, land and water represented there, but let's add this drop shadow. Make it a little bit bigger and uh, brighten up my water cycle there. And what does the reflection look like with water cycle? Interesting, right? Maybe if I make it a little bit bigger, kind of like that, like it's reflecting in the water. And again, I can resize all of this and including that reflection will change. And if you ever want to edit the word that's in your box, just double click it and the text box will open and you can very quickly take, change this to uh, a new word and all of your formatting will stay. So that's all there is to it. It's simple to do, but it's very rewarding to see how much word art can enhance your presentation, how much fun you can have being creative. And I hope you will have fun with it and that you'll also be sure to teach your students how to do it too.